Hey guys, up here in the woods in uh, Wisconsin at the Badgerland Field Target Course, and I have two of my FX guns with me. We have the FX Cyclone, which has a Lothar Walther barrel, and we have the FX Whisper T12, and this has a new smooth twist barrel in it. Uh, FX is soon well recently switched over to smooth twist barrels and I wanted to do a comparison to see which one is actually more accurate. Uh, everything's going to be the same today. We're shooting uh, the same targets at the same distances off of the same rest and I'm in the same position and we are using the JSB 15.9 grain pellets. Uh, we're going to do 25, 50, 75, and 100 yards today. So we're going to get all these shots done on camera and see how they stack up against one another. Let's get to it. Stop the video. Okay, just messing with you. Not pointing guns at you guys. So I wanted to qualify the video a little bit, talk about the circumstances of the day, the differences and similarities between the two guns, just so you guys have a better idea of how fair this really was. Um, so other than the barrel differences and the fact that they're two different FX guns, uh, both are sporting 6 to 24 scopes, both are shooting around 28 or 30 foot pounds, and as I said, both are shooting the 15.9 grain JSB pellets. Uh, the choice in pellet that particular day, I would have opted for the 18 grain pellets, but the 15.9s were purely shooting better on that day, so I went with them. Uh, now let's get into the differences a little bit. The trigger on the Cyclone and the gun itself has been tuned by Alan Zazadny, and the trigger pulls very, very nicely at around 10 ounces on the Cyclone as opposed to the one and a half pound stock trigger pull on the Whisper. Now, not a bad trigger, but when you're grouping, it definitely, you definitely see that difference. Um, as far as position goes, I shot the 25, 50, and 75 yard groups prone off of a rest and I did have some difficulty with that because the rest was um, on some non-level ground which canted a few of the shots uh, so trying to correct for that may have thrown some of the shots off and you'll kind of see that you'll see you know two or three shots strung very closely together and then one kind of uh, appear to be a flyer when it's in in reality it was me tilting the gun or trying to correct for what I saw as cant when I should have just let it go. Um, let's see, the 100 yard groups were shot off a of bench rest, so that was not really a big issue there. Uh, just another thing, when I was shooting at 100 yards, there was a bit of a wind pick, picking up. Uh, for the 25, 50, and 75 yard groupings, I was back in the woods, and there was no wind to speak of getting through the trees at all. But when I went out to the actual range and shot at 100, the wind did pick up considerably. And on another note, I would expect both of these rifles to do much better at any of these ranges had they been purely bench rested. And if I had not had the scope cam on for the 100 yard shooting, I would be willing to bet you both of these guns would have performed better. Alright, so I just wanted to mention I was not able to recover the actual target because I didn't have the presence of mind to think about the fact that when you stick something to a board and then put a bunch of holes in it and then try to take it off the board, it's not very stable. So I ended up ripping the target in half actually. 
um, I was able to take my micrometer out there and measure everything so uh, nothing was lost so to speak what you're looking at now is the cyclone at uh, 100 yards the eight shot group measured 1.7 inches which is not too bad uh, those six shots that you see go into that really really rather tight area around that uh, triangle there is about 1.4 inches so I was definitely not too unhappy with that uh, you know I figure if I was using my eye versus with the scope cam I would have done a lot better now you're taking a look at the whisper uh, the eight shot group as you're going to see it develop is about three inches or so um, just really really not that great uh, not much I could say about that you know it just wasn't my best you know myriad of things I've already talked about the differences between the guns so you guys know uh, but the five shot group was 1.8 inches so not terrible there you know could it improve of course it could and only time with the gun would help that out all right guys so let's talk about those groups we just shot so I have already pre-measured everything and let's just talk real quick about the 25 yard groups uh, so as you can see with the Cyclone, very, very nice grouping, 0.22, uh, doesn't get much better than that. The Whisper, as you saw, did kind of throw one, that was me with the trigger, uh, still point, point, about a 0.4, I, I, I've done much better with the gun, not making excuses, just not my best. Let's move on to 50. First up is the Cyclone. Uh, from this hole to this hole, which is the furthest, we have a 0.69, so 0 0.7. Uh, not great, not bad. Uh, these four shots, though, as you can see, are measured at, in at 0.38. Uh, very, very nice. Again, this could have been a canting issue that I was talking about earlier. Uh, not 100% sure on that one, but definitely very promising 0.38 right there in four shots. Can't complain too much about that. Moving on to the Whisper here. Uh, disregard this. This was a uh, random flyer actually bounced, and you can see the perfect imprint of a pellet right there. Kind of interesting. Um, so all five of these shots come in at 0.84. Uh, again, not terrible, but not great. Uh, that could have been due to my inexperience with the gun and the trigger or the cant thing again. But four out of four of those shots, 0.39. So right there with the cyclone, in terms of you know a nice four shot grouping at least. And then moving on to 75 yards, we will start with the whisper this time, just to change it up a little bit. As you can see, we have five shots in a point or in a 1.27 inch group, and we have three of those shots in a 0.45 inch group. Uh, so definitely pretty good right there. You know, this could have been me, the gun, a, a myriad of things could have you know spread that out. Other than the barrel, I think the gun's capable of much better, uh, but definitely not terrible. And then the Cyclone performed very well at 75 yards. As you can see, four of those shots in a 0.42 inch group, and then one shot out here for a total of a 0.82 inch group. Again, very well done out of the Cyclone, and I really, really like the groups there. In terms of which one won, I'm gonna leave that up to you. Obviously, the uh, Lothar Walther barreled Cyclone shot a little better, but it's tuned, it has a better trigger. I'm not even gonna get into that. I already told you guys all those things. But either way, I think FX Air Guns has a winner in the smooth twist barrel. It's just a matter of, you know, your preference, I suppose. But if you're worried about maybe the smooth twist barrel not being as good, I would say flush those worries down the drain. You're not gonna be disappointed. FX makes great products. Uh, I have not had a bad experience with one yet and I've shot a few of them. It's tough to beat a company as innovative as FX. So, you know, Lothar Walther versus Smooth Twist, I don't see a huge difference. But 
I'll let you guys decide. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, post your comments in the uh, comment section. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that. Please, please subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, we'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.